Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Muhammad Izzam Bayrani S54506 uh, My supervisor is Encik Muhammad Rizal bin Ismail My title of my FYP is The Challenge of Humanitarian Aid Logistic in Johor Bahru Okay, today I will present my final year project Start with Introduction, Problem Statement, Research Question, Research Objective, Scope of Study, Literature Review, Research Method, Research Flowchart, uh, Result and Discussion, and the lastly is Conclusion. Okay, firstly is Introduction. Uh, what is Humanitarian Aid Logistic? Humanitarian Logistic refer to the process of mobilizing people, resource, skill, and knowledge to assist victim of the disaster. Logistic is at the heart of all mobilization activity in the humanitarian process, serving, serving as the link between catastrophe preparedness and response, prosumer and distribution, and headquarters at the field. Okay, next. I will tell you about my research question and my research objective. My research question is what is the factor of the challenge of humanitarian and logistic in Johor Bahru? And my research objective is to find the factor of the challenge of humanitarian aid in humanitarian aid logistic in Johor Bahru. Uh, my scope of study is the role of NGO in humanitarian aid logistics and the challenge of humanitarian aid logistics in Johor Bahru. Okay, next, we will move to the literature review. In literature review, I have two. First is to find the factor of the challenge of humanitarian aid logistics in Johor Bahru and the secondly is to identify the way in carrying out humanitarian aid logistic mission. Okay, for the first literature review, to find the factor of the challenge of humanitarian aid logistic in Johor Bahru. Uh, first is resource management. Unpredict quick as onset emergency, which usually has little or no time in between, requires a rapid response in need of supplies. And second is road and accessibility. The failure to send donation is due to road network problem, due to disaster, and can be passed by lorries and or boat only. Uh, for the second literature review, to identify effective ways in carrying out humanitarian aid logistic mission. Inform donor about the item needed or not. The aid ch channel sometimes does not meet the demand of disaster victim. For example, all the donor donate the same type of donation close to the disaster victim, and eventually all the clothes become garbage on the side of the road. And second is the use of internet is necessity before and during emergency. According to Orange Business. 2018, Facebook used social network data from disaster zone to supply aid organization with information about who, where, and what kind of assistance are required. And Facebook just began sharing the catastrophe map API with organization so that it may be coordinated more efficiently. Okay, next is research method. For data collection, I use phone call interview, email questionnaire, and WhatsApp. And for sampling, is non-probability sampling and snowball. And for the data analysis method, I use narrative analysis. Okay, for the result and discussion, the preceding data analysis chapter unpack the finding of this study. First. Researcher found some factor of the challenge humanitarian aid logistic in Johor Bahru. The factor are flooded road, road closure, limited access, low traffic flow, 
overcrowded eva evacuation center, asset and property loss, and power power failure, and assisted government agency with a focus on search and rescue, and another agency with a focus management of an evacuation center have minimal coordination and collaboration between them before a disaster. In conclusion, humanitarian aid logistic as a complement to the current strategy to relieve supply chain system has several advantages for humanitarian organization, including higher efficiency of procurement of relief supplies, improved response time, and lower shipping costs, as indicated by the result of the proposal model, which show how the humanitarian system can be used to optimize the best investment in order to achieve the highest possible benefit in terms of humanitarian aid logistic. Moreover, this advantage support the implementation of distribution network described here, here in after. The proposed model estimate the frequency, location, and magnitude of the potential demand based on historical data and optimize the location of warehouse and inventory allocation under time re restriction in terms of the number of warehouse to be open and amount of inventory to be stopped. Okay, that's all from me. Thank you.